house here tonight? Uh, Damon Ravage here, of course, followed up by my uh, right-hand man, Johnny Patches. We know what time it is. Yeah. Mr. Mossy. Yeah. The now three-time TIW heavyweight champion. Good for him. He's the first, the only man to hold that, that distinction. I got nothing. I, I, I don't really want to talk about him right now. Uh, after the last time I saw that clown, he laid my brother out of way. New champ. I also recall him attacking your brother while he was sitting next to me on commentary. Yeah, twice. He's, he's done it twice now. For the first time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. I don't want to talk about him right now. Well, you're not going to need to talk about it. He's about to do the talk. So, apparently everybody had something better to do tonight. What? So, if that's the case, what? I'm not going to waste my time coming out here and addressing you idiots. So, I'm going to take it night off. That music is familiar. Well, speaking of multiple time TIW, Mr. Limited Jim is himself. Jimmy Limit's coming out to the ring. You know, listen, first of all, before you even say anything, you're literally one of about three people in that locker room that I even have this much respect for. So before you open your mouth and lose that, you better think twice. I'm telling you right now. Because I'm not in the mood for whatever shit you got to say. Thinking. I'm thinking twice, and that's a risk I'm gonna have to take, buddy, because you may not have time for these people, but I do. I have time for you. So before you think you're gonna take your night off, I don't have a match tonight either. It's because you suck and nobody wants to see you. Okay, then explain your lack of a match, buddy. Well, I'm the champ. I wrestle when I want. Well, then maybe you'll want to accept my challenge and face me for that title tonight. That sweet monkey's out. Attacking Jimmy Lewis from behind. See, you really can't trust Tyler Vincent because he's always got someone watching for him. Vincent and 
but it doesn't look like that was the way that it was going to go. Huh? What just happened? That's why you can't give sweet money a mic. Let's go. Let's go. Tonight. Well, Vince is not terribly interested in wrestling tonight, or ever for that matter. But aside from that, well. It looks like here's Benjamin Blackwell. The Berkshire title defense is up next, and Blackwell. Not even in his gear yet. It looks like he's taking full advantage of what happened to Guy Sedlowski. And he's got Adam, the official, with him. So it looks like he wants this match to start. Just in case, and Jimmy are trying to buy Guy some time, but guys. Guy took that spear and then he took the belt to the midsection. Yeah, that's what it looked like. He's not looking great. He's looking like Justin Herbert in the fourth quarter of the oh. Thursday Night Football game. Character progression. Guy said last game, Jimmy Lemons. Is official, and it's for the T.I.W. Blackwell took full advantage of that situation. Underway. I don't want to say guys been put behind the eight ball, but he has definitely been put behind the eighth ball with the damage that he's sustained already. Yeah, he, he can't even lock off. Lock up. Jimmy's still out here. Jimmy. Jimmy's temper getting the best of him, but he just got attacked. Red front ejecting Jimmy Lemons. You know, and he's not wrong. Jimmy isn't a manager. He doesn't have a manager's license in the state of Massachusetts. So, I mean, how do you know? He's not on the itinerary. I've seen Oh, you have the itinerary. I, I do have the itinerary. Okay. So, Jimmy is being ejected from ringside. Did you know that I'm on the itinerary? I, I do know you are. I lied. You don't have the itinerary. You lied. Calm down. Yes! This match is now underway. Uh, you're, you're really calm now. You, you told me to calm down. I, I, I did, but I, I just went to the down. Oh, 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 oh. This is the weirdest oh, AMR oh, I've ever listened to. Oh, 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 I'm pretty disturbed by this right now. God damn! out of force. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's happened, but Damon is out of his mind. We already knew that. What a good strength by the Beverly Black Dog. You show a little bit more enthusiasm. Okay, I, I can I can go that. Uh, all right, all right. Blackwell rolling him over. Cover one, two, and a kick out, Mr. Sadowski. The crowd is definitely vocal here for the fan favorite guy Sadowski. Blackwell's forcing that knee right into the back. This is this is bad. Back and ribs. Guy oh, guy fighting three. Whoa, that's a that's a big that I don't I can't see what just happened here, but I just saw a bogus. Another strike to the ribs? Guy? Got the face. Oh my guys god. Guys are coming up. You don't want to get in the strike in the shade of black now. I've been in strike the face with both of these guys, and I have to say, uh, I'm a But aside from that, uh, if I were to put the edge here, yeah, I have to put it on the black belt. But it looks like he's so that's he's getting the best of him. Well, it looks like Blackwell, though he may have been ready, he's, he's not being ready. Who knows? Deep knee to the midsection. His attack is definitely focused. Tyler Vincent did the dirty work. And it looks like Blackwell is gonna capitalize on it. We could have a new champion. It here makes me wonder if they're on the same page. 
Corner. Jimmy, this is back there, the big boot. He's out of the way. Oh. That could be it. Right to the head. Pulling him in the middle of the ring, getting away from the ropes. Brilliant move by Blackwell. Oh, oh what an arrogant cover. Wow. Finally, we have a new champion at the moment. Didn't think his head taken that much damage, but I guess that knee was just. If I've learned anything from the book of Quick Silver Method, if a man can't breathe, a man can't fight. So the damage was done to Guy Seslowski's midsection. But with that shot to the head, that finished him. Benjamin Blackwell requesting a fight. As if we haven't had enough people talk tonight, we're going to give Benjamin Blackwell the mic as well. And throw the bell to the like it's nothing. He's had the issue with CJ Scott as well. <laughs> Your brother isn't very popular. Yeah, but he's my brother. You have problems with him. He's your brother. Nobody's allowed to have problems with him. Exactly what I said I was going to do. I cannot express how much. How much I hate the fact that I am the Berkshire champion. See, this is all it takes. You shave your head, you get some face tattoos, and you can win titles. That's, that's far as I can tell. That's the logic here. Just like the rest of the state, I'm going to be as trashy as all of you. I'm going to be as dumpy as all of you. And you are going to have to like Because I, not only am I Captain Benjamin Blackwell, Whether he's the Pirate King and whether he looks like it or not, he is the Berkshire champion, and I don't think he could care less. No, it's a strong words from Benjamin Blackwell here. Blackwell's first single title here in TIW. I think it's his first single title in that one, if I recall. And it means nothing to him that's on his title today. One of the TI5 original is yeah. the Berkshire champion. That happened. And we almost see Sean Jacobs uh, eat the, the, the mat outside as, as he went to step up the stairs. That could be a sign of things to come. Look at all that. Alright, what do you think so far? Yeah. 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 The fans would not be happy that Benjamin Blackwell just won the first match, but that's not the end of it. We know this music. We definitely know this music. We know this man. Nowhere to go but 
You've held out long enough by so overrated <laughs> statement ever in the history of TIW. You're saying Jamar Justice is at the very bottom right now. Well, there's nowhere to go but up. He was held down by the Dignified for four years now. Nowhere to go but up. And making his TIW debut. The man named Chunks. I wonder how old he is. I mean, if you have a name like Chunks, you have to have so many, right? Yeah, yeah. You have to be a Yeah, you have to be three or four. Yeah, for sure. If I showed up in a job dressed like he is right now, I, I'm fairly certain I would be like go. Definitely stand up. This is true. He's very colorful. Uh, interesting color off there uh, with the yellow and the blue. I don't hate it. Here we go with one of the baddest men in the building. See him at I think he court. knocked out four teeth on the way into the building today. I'm pretty sure he did. The Iron Alpha. John Scorer. Yeah, John Scorer finally go back up here. Uh, this is his third official appearance, I believe, uh, for Truly Independent Wrestling. And he's, he's made a point to hit everybody who got in his way. <laughs> well, we're here for a wrestler that's diving what you gotta do. This kid may die. That will be bad. Looking at the elbow of Jobs for and looking at the dome of Jobs, it looks like he may crack it open like a coconut. So I, it doesn't matter to me who wins this, even though it's probably going to be Jamar. But, you know, if Jamar doesn't, because, you know, you really can't trust Jobs when you're down the floor. You know, if Jobs wins, I won't be upset. What if he pins Jamar Justice? Well, that can be. It's statistically impossible for Jamar Justice to be pinned in this match. But he was pinned by Oh, not that I recall. Because it's tapped out. That was a long time ago. Ah, yes. And I almost died after the last show, so it's a little bit it's a little bit crazy. That's fair. Most unfortunate. Jamar Jones is going in for a splash on Jobs. Jobs is getting out of the way here. Well, I didn't see that coming. And an airplane spin. Wow. I think it was ever done this oh, uh, I I very much doubt that. Big boot on Jamar Justice and he goes down. Clearing the ring of one of the competitors. Now that he's leaves four in the ring. Jobs and Spore. Jobs has an opportunity to take control of the situation here. He's just choosing not to. It's a weird choice. It is a weird choice, but... You'd think with all his job experience, he should know that. He might be a little bit dizzy from that airplane spin. That's true. 
I don't, I don't know if. Well, I mean, I know I can't do that, but. Yeah. Collar elbow. John's core looking like he's ready to tear that arm right out of his shoulder. Look at that. John's core is so stuck. Is all the way around the right hand. That upper elbow into the shoulder blade. Oh, oh my job. Pull it back. Take the pressure off the reversal. Oh, deep, deep elbows to the, 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 the connection of the shoulder. No one here is surprised with Jack Sport. They, they did the job. A nice reversal. Jack Sport with a top of his last lock. Chops positioning himself so he can't be taken down. Very solid call. He's using his other hand to push forward just to give him that much more stability so his core can't pull him down. Oh, he's gone for the airplane spin. It's four. Catches out. He's got blocked. He goes for the big iron bow. Big line for Chops. It's all set another big line. He, he got a double mark. Dropped it. Jamar back up on the apron. Right by Jamar. I, I would wager that Jamar's entire arm weighs about the job stuff. I got no doubt. Oh, there's the elbow. And there goes Job. Job is gone. I, we may need to... I think Job's is late for work. Uh, I think he's going to be permanently late for work. Swore so running his mouth. He, does, he doesn't see Jamar waiting. Now, into another cross face tonight. Sport right back. Well, it looks like he's struggling there. He's got it. He's got it locked in. Sport trying not to tap. Wow, he's a long way. He's really far jobs. Did he tap? Did he tap for the scale of justice? Wow. What a dominating win by Jamal. That was a very decisive victory, and that's, that's definitely something you can't take away from far justice. Definitely not. And it wasn't shown by job to buy the Yeah. It has a future. Score suffering the effects of, of the scale of justice. Score's one of the toughest men I've ever met. So imagine the damage that was done with that hold with the real strength of your body. To make score tap. Yeah, that's great. Like that's this this could be a new car justice, like you're saying, the only way the only way he goes up. And he's not being held back. Yeah. The score is legitimate and a main practitioner. So a man what it takes to make him happen. That's that's a lot. Sport not looking for anyone's sympathy. I mean, I'd be sad too if I was a legitimate MMA practitioner and I tapped out. their return. Oh, I can definitely smell the beer. Oh, I don't think these guys are smelling. 
No, I think it'll still fuck nice in the second quarter. Of 390 pounds of decadence and debauchery. Decadence. They are the team of a mustache and Danny Adams. That must be a long way from the boat seat. Got it right. Oh, it's... Oh, it reached. It's so far. Oh, oh, it's awful. Oh. I, it's good they have a mask here. Oh, that's... That's a nice gear. Uh, you see, you see Rush Dad, Rush Dad here, looking pretty nice. So the discover with a chance to make a name for themselves by beating the former GIW yeah, can't get in some kind of war. So there may be something in there. Anything can happen. So let's look at the 
of the four people we have in the ring here. We have five. That I didn't want to film. I'm saying that I'm competing. Uh, the four that are competing. Who do you give the edge to here? Of the four competitors in this match, I think I have to give it to Danny Adam, as much as I hate to say it. Just Danny Adam. Danny Adam has been in TIW longer. Uh -huh. He's familiar with the crowd. He's familiar with this ring. Uh -huh. and, and as you know, every ring is different. That's true. So, so he may know it better than he knows himself. Uh, that's probably true. Yeah. Rustash has been here a little bit longer than Southern Discomfort. Uh -huh. uh, Southern Discomfort obviously has more time together on the team. So, but if I have to give the advantage to anyone, I'm going to give it to Danny Adams based on his tenure here in TIW. Danny Adams getting the whip from whatever swap one they have available. I think it's Moonshine, you're saying, right? It's, it's Moonshine. And from someone who's grown up in, in the glowing sea, how powerful is that stuff? It's. He's offering the drink. should drink it and continue with this match. Does he, is he allowed to do this right now? I'm oh, wondering how much of a lightweight he is. I'm referring to that. I'm referring to like, I, I want to see another guy's last games. Are, are there rules against poisoning your opponent? Not yet. There may be after tonight. We'll, we'll need to talk to the Massachusetts Athletic Commission about us. Yes. Uh, and then there's the tag. Oh no. Back heel trust. Russ hit the rope. Oh, big sliding line there. Uh, Russell. Big headbutt. Big headbutt. Great to the sternum. He's stashing up. Oh! Vicious. Gunbuster. Gunbuster. Using Russell's momentum against the wall. Two. Kick out of two. Smart thinking. Stomping on the leg. It is padded, but that I think is a lot of this pressure. He's coming right out of the net there. He's twerking onto the knee. Spinning toe hold. When's the last time you saw a spinning toe hold? Yeah. Probably the last time something was going was in the TIW ring. But I can't answer that for sure. I'm just making the assumption. And that's that's fair, but at the same time, like... Strong face lock. Swing neck. Big swinging neck breaker. Brought it down at a nice high angle. Kind of like a Yankees neck breaker. Unless that should be really this great. And splash. Spot one, two. This could be okay. Well, it ain't over. Kick out in two. Sudden discomfort showing that they, I mean, they're in complete control. Danny Adams is conscious on the air. It's, it, it's effectively two on one at this point. It's, it's smart, smart strategy on behalf of them. Like, unless it was completely accidental. At which point, well, I'm on still. You know what made Danny Adams drink it? He did it at the Wars. And Sudden discomfort had been drinking from it, so I just think Danny Adams would look like. That you're probably right. Double axe handle between the shoulder blades. I bet he drinks Smirnoff Ices. I cannot confirm or deny that. I can only assume that you are right. It's, it's for the best that you just assume I'm right anyway. I'm right, like so he's big up to the second. Second row splash. Don't be splashed. Don't you ever get to see I'm sure he's going to do it until they win. He, he can only keep going up. So off the top. Much like the system, he can only keep going up. Hey, Danny Adams alive! Boy, I'm not so excited for that. Danny Adam off, but he's in no condition to make the tag. Well, he's coming in. He is pouring sweat right now. He's an oily boy. Oh, big four! Coming in for the big line. Doesn't even look chossy. Well, he had a nice nap, so he's well rested. Lightning spiral. Let it prove that I do. Well, he is a former tag team champion with Dana Rabbit. Another. So you obviously talked about him, too. Of course. I talked about 
That is unfortunate. Except for the steel on the roof. I didn't teach him that one. With Duke putting that second win, maybe leaving Danny's body. Duke took a big stop to the looks for a stunner. What a knee from Dougie. Mustache to make the save. Danny Adams awkwardly laying up. What's that? The double muscle they got it by the stash? They don't realize that's where he holds his power. See? That's up the Uber by Rustad. Guess where he holds all the power. So this is still a little bit. Wow! Cross body again. Cora was not ready for self discomfort today. This is just like everything's going completely amiss at this point. Apparently not too amiss that. Ladliner, that could be it. Nope, Dougie's out. Parker's waiting on the cut off by Rostad. That one to the midsection. That could be it. Stick a fork in a one, two, three. Carnivore are your winners as they are on the path to reclaim the TIW Tag Team Championships. Showing that there is no chance they're going to let any team get in their way. It's probably showing by something to struggle with. Yeah, some of the discomforts are really, uh, well, they're something. They have a lot of tech, a lot of promise. I feel like <laughs> they should just hang out with the SB some more and they'll have more promise. But that's just me. Looks like the, the squad's going to share... Uh, we're going to crack up and play with the boys. Pray for that for me. Thank you. Keep trying. Hey. Bring it up. Let's go to this. Go to the bar. Hearing a lovely bone in the drink with Carnivora is Southern. No hard feelings shared between the four of them. Isn't that swell? That's uh, kind of unfortunate. You're a fan of the hard feelings. I am a fan of the hard feelings. You know, when someone comes to you, you need to lose it around, or you can let it fly for the one you would like to get rid of. There's plenty of other ones. You can take it out and bring it in. I'll have a little time, too. There's too many options. There's a party. You got it down so far. I know. I know if you were sitting down, you thought you were going to fly to everybody's seats. And we are uh, happy to be helping promote the Bound for Glory pay-per-view, which is coming to Albany, which is where I'm from. I know Albany is like well known for a lot of cool places or a group. It's not known for you either. A lot of cool places that happen in Albany. Yeah. There's so you have to fly Bound for Glory on October 7th. You see the fly with your major seats. They have special deals. If you hit the QR code, they have special prices for both nights. So hit the QR code. And of course, coming up on October 29th, we have a call friendly. We have a 40 person rumble at our next show. So make sure you're here for that. Stay tuned to our Instagram, the Facebook, and the Twitter as we take this to our next matchup, which is a singles match scheduled for one. Jacobs bringing up the fact that uh, Impact Wrestling's Bound for Glory is going to be Kyle Gray with a good hit. You could have given me a, like, a bet, $150,000 on who is going to come out of this, this come next. They never would have said Kyle Gray. 
if I've learned anything from my time here in TIW and commentating with you, I'm never thinking about you again because you're a you're a wow. And I paid this $150 on my benefit on Amazon and you never paid me. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're a Welsh. A Welsh? You Welsh on your back. So if I've learned anything. I've, I've never heard. So I would never give you $150,000 to spend on anything. Hey. I for truly independent against the prospects. I won that match. I hit two of them. Uh, and I was the, the, the sole survivor for my team. Kyle Brad came out to celebrate and proceeded to lay me flat. As uh, I recall. So, though I may have been some going to here, I am still fairly. Like this is this is different. This is I I was doing business with the other fun boys. I, I intentionally stayed away from Kyle kind of Brad because I didn't want to see what would happen if I got him. Uh, so I, that being said, I'd love to see Fox win your winners. It very well made. There's a 50-50 percent chance that Fox Figure will win this match. I would say 33.3. There could be a double count. Anything can happen. You are not wrong. They could be a title of the draw. Yeah. Are we doing title this year again? Uh, let me check my papers. I don't know. We, have, we don't have anybody else to show it. No. Oh, yeah. Because uh, how are these matches? Who's putting these matches together? I think we're just right. taking a bunch of dice and just sort of, you know, rolling to, to see what happens. But without the most CJ Scott back there, is Carl the Port with the E back there? So are people just coming out here to have matches, possibly? I, I don't think so. Well, I mean, that's definitely happened from, you know, earlier tonight, but I, I'm fairly certain that the one, one day perusing may be going to I have no proof, but no I have a feeling. No wonder why this show is going to happen. Exactly. Deep arm drag, going for a hip toss. Fox Vineyard, that's a big one. Clean hip toss on Kyle Red. Goes for the drop kick. What do you think?
box offering a hand of respect. Fox showing that she does have honor despite him not always having honor. You know, because we're lost. We never know what Fox Vineyard is going to show up. They are doing the fun boys collide. Oh, Kyle Brad taking up the opportunity. Fox Vineyard. Reaching back. Very crisp. Collecting that head. Ducks line. Hands on the feet. Fox fighting the hands. Fox fighting the dance. First time ready to Dead scissors. Fox in the, in the, in the corner. Trouble. Words are escaping me. He's the oh. big move from Fox Vineyard. Boy, I might have knocked up two moves with that. Tornado DDT. Oh. Oh. Brad looked like he was going to shuffle right out of the ring. Took two to oh. Just pulling the leg out from under Fox Vineyard. Hit this really hard right on that turnbuckle. Those things. I don't know. Have you ever felt the turnbuckle? I have. So the thing about the turnbuckle, for those who are listening at home, is though they are padded, they're not. It's not great to have. See what's underneath those pads is just straight metal. It, it's a steel pole. It's a steel pole, and the entire idea of the pad there is to ensure that you don't cut yourself when you're throwing it. And it's bad enough that it's a bolt. Yeah. But it's, you're also hitting it at an angle with the way that the ropes are. So, so many things can go wrong. That is that is so bad. The gun shot from Fox Vineyard. Trying to put some distance between yeah. him and Kyle Brad, but... He needs to be able to get up somehow. Kyle Brad staying on him like a hawk. Would you need to? Yeah, let's go. Big, big elbow from Kyle Brad. Kyle Brad is losing a good 30 pounds of Fox. And Fox is all muscle, but the technique of Kyle Brad is second to none. Far longer than I have. And he's just so clean. I'm <laughs> trying to get behind Fox Vineyard. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be doing any actual assistance. Oh, maybe it is. Sunset flip. Big sunset flip. I'm going to tell you that. Fox took advantage. Big line. Other girls like drop Fox. So what do you see when it comes to this match? After this match is set up, what comes to Do you think this might be a contendership match? Or at least what leads to a contendership match? You're definitely going to be getting eyes on you from the championship committee with a win over Kyle Brad or a win over Fox Vineyard. Both men have definitely paid their dues here in TIW. One way or the other, of course. Right. Kyle making his return. White Fox still here off and on. Other commitments could get away. It's very interesting to see Kyle Brad playing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I keep coming back to you playing. Might be something there. Oh. Might be seeing David Rapp get back to playing against Rapp. Big surprise. Oh my god! Fox decided two. PJ to look right on it. Very efficient. Kyle Brad not taking any licks from ref PJ. He is giving Fox a chance to regroup, though. He should know better. Maybe it's just because he feels like he has his match locked up. That's, that's the only thing that comes to my mind. Fox is one of those guys that you just can't count out. When you're right, you're right. That being said, though, I mean, he did just fall over, so I, I don't know. Kyle Brad, not having caught up with this, uh, this crowd in some time. Some of the people I don't even know who he is. If he's not going to to redeem himself to these fans either. He doesn't care. He doesn't need it. No, you know, not a fresh guy. Oh, oh. Big fisherman suplex. Out of literally. I did not see that. He gave Fox too much time to recoup there. Four. 
What's the desperation to break some of the craziest things you ever see? Ref PG Hardy seven. Wow. They're both up though. Big Ryan fist. Fox firing back. Yeah, PJ is real lenient about mentioning the closed fists. That was not close. That was, that was a slap right to the face. Kyle Brad with these Canelo like right hands. Another one. Hit the ropes, going for another. Building up another oh. block. Disbelief. After that barrage of chops and the 10 gun team. Fox, you can see the frustration in Fox's face. He, could, he knew he had but he should have also known. He would have had a previously in this very company that this is no, he's no slack. Like, you're going you're gonna to need to do more than just the normal to put down. Now look at that elbow. That very well could be it. Fox back up to his feet though. Super kick. And that's it. Airline fight. One, two, three. No! Fox kicks out of two. What a show of hard and resilience by Fox Vineyard. These two could be fighting for six more hours. Get your ass up, come on! Looks like Kyle Brad's gonna look for that super kick again.
You know how Denim's so hot right now? That's what it's called. ESB is so homeless right now. behind the belt, and the belt might just be falling apart. Who knows what kind of care Tom Gore took to it, so I think you need new tag team titles. I, I mean, I do agree. New tag team titles would be very nice. I don't want to see anything on that belt. It's the top of genius. Bush started off with Denim Cole. Denim clearly outweighing Corey Bush by, I don't know, 75 pounds. And Corey may be outweighing Corey Bush by 50 pounds. That was uh, an oops on both parts. Denim shrimps for Corey. And now, I guess De Mr. Miller's coming in and Mr. Stone's coming in as well. And this is the second meeting of the two. DNA made their TIW debut against the Village Street Boys. I didn't think about that, yeah. So there, there, there is some familiarity between the two teams. It was a whole different world back then, though. I feel like DNA, they weren't as efficient as they were. In fact, if I do recall, the Dillon Street Boys won that match, did they not? I believe DNA won. Top. Double 
down that joint. Brett, or Brett, with a Canadian shirt on the outside for some reason. Very happy and cheering on his points. From what I understand, they threw it out of good will. Off the bottom of double that channel by Mr. Miller. I mean, if I had a Canada shirt, I would throw it out too. So. Blame Canada. Yeah. This at Stone's arm is going through so much pain right now that Max is going to the rest. I'd like to say it was a good strategy by DSB to focus on, on, on the strength of Adam Stone to neutralize that. Getting up on the eighth one there. No, he's getting in his throat. He stops. The referee not noticing. I guess this is Dylan Street Boys' way of evening the odds. If TNA's going to sneak in those brass buttons, they need to even it out somehow. Look at the... That That's... Wait, hold on. That sign. So one sign says homeless. The other one is in the choice of selling things. Is that what it is? Did they sell their home? Have they sold everything and that's why they're homeless? Did they not? Big leg drop, ball back up. And big split. Dill Street Boys looking like they missed no time for Spike. Pretty sure they missed a few. Dan, I'm not having any part of it. Big double drop total right into the anatomy of Adam Stone. Adam is definitely feeling the effects of that. Rolls right now. Denim is living. Please, Eddie. Kevin Eddie was part here. Me too. Me too. Somebody landed on my job. There's the tag. Corey Bush isn't paying attention. Miscommunication between the two. Big swing. It's Corey Bush. That rugged, off-street style of Corey Bush, most impressive. And he takes the side right back. Rare miscue from the TWK Team Champions. They seem to be on the, they're not looking their very best tonight. They are, like, I mean, Denim is so hot. He is so hot. Uh, but it's just, just not looking so great. There's a reversal. Oh, no! Denim capitalizing on that moment. Right up. He's got the elbow. Oh. Reversal. Big, big wrist control there. He's going to try it. Try to get to the other side. And big, Ooh, big. Why is Brad Brooke Brad getting up on him? He's hyping his boy up. He's costing him. And Brett just went to the ground. Brett is dead. And no one will care. Beautiful spin wheel kick by down in the corner. I think Brett may be... Uh, I think they're setting him down. Double face plan. There's about one, two. Two count. Adam Stone. Stopping the way. Not letting Corey Bush get back to his feet. Carrying Corey Bush around the ring like he's a baby. Asking with Crawford, this is their guy. No, I think that guy's the last guy's their guy. Guy is everyone's guy. Clean break. Well, not so clean because Denim is now showing him up on the other side in a stiff punch to, to Mr. Miller. Denim making his way back as if nothing even happened. We need this referee to be at least. He does not catch anything. Would you rather Billy be back? Well, he was the worst. Okay. Big, big suplex for Mr. Uh, the, the only referee worse than those two are that other guy. Oh, no. I don't even remember his name. Nick. Nick. No. 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 No.
me neither, apparently. Corey Porsche going back out with a ride with just a distance between him and Donald. I think he may have pulled out some of Corey Bush's hair. That yeah. from his fingers. I mean, I too would be reacting in such a manner if I had done something. Going in. Oh, my. The big knee from Ted to Mr. Bush. Big spine buster. That's a stick of work, and boy. Kindly asking uh, Brunt to do the count on that. You know, I, I'm not a fan of telling people how to do their job, but Adam Martin definitely needs to know how to do his job. Because he doesn't do it well. He even tell him to ask him. Boss and Crab putting all that pressure on the lower back of Corey Bush. Making sure that tank isn't made. Looking for a power bomb. This could be the end of Corey Bush. What a face was the reversal to Adam Stone. Grabbed by the head of a little bright down. That would have been great on the forehead. Bush telegraphed that mile away. I don't think he could. I don't think he could telegraph anything. They don't just have smoke signals, smoke is standing. Both men looking for that tag. Tagged down. Let's go, man. He's from Ellen. Well, let's try it. Beat line. Oh, big back elbow. Oh, big back elbow. Big back elbow. Duck slide down. Kick of the side. Double arm DDT. Blanson. That could be it. We could have new champions. One. Two! Not yet. Not new champions yet. Denim. It's so hot right now. No. If you look at it, he's in so much pain, but his ankle was just in such a good position. Like, he looked like he was to paint him like one of your French cars. Completely fucked up. He's the most handsome man in TIW. Yeah. What a spear. Shaco just take it out of his boots. And great teamwork. Denim's there to make the cover. That's it. One, two. Wow, kick out at two. Can only running up in stickers, Mr. Miller, at that time. You have to realize that's all. That's all Sean Miller's taken at this point. I, I don't think he's taken much else. A lot of it's just been right on on Corey Bush. It's like we're looking for the end of this. Setting up here in Aggie. Bush was. He's seeing the future. I'm telling you. Fire wow. Wow. That could be it. There's the cover. One, it's two. two. No. Had him still out at two. And out at one. for the bout. He's looking to... Well, they, they plan on leaving with the championships regardless. I don't care. I'm going to I mean, they do keep the belts if they use the belts right now. Uh, I don't like where this is going. They're fighting, they're fighting with the belts now. And that's... Oh, what a beautiful... 
beautiful right hand by Denham. Zip a fork in it, one, two, three, still tag team champions, DNA. I, I think this needs a rematch, first of all. I mean, they should the win anyway. They used those brass knuckles. I, I didn't see anything. I just saw a beautiful right, right down the this punch. This is travesty. This is what happens when Wolf's not here. This is garbage. I mean, it was happening while Wolf was here, but that's not the point. The greatest TIWK team champions ever. This is absurd. Dylan Street Boys deserve a rematch immediately. There's so many things that went wrong there. Uh, I think Adam Brock needs to be fired. Bes besides that, this is insane. Well, not to say you're wrong there. Nevertheless, in the record books, DNA, title defense. This should be a good one. This is going to be a great match. It, this, this is the rubber match between these two. Is it? It is. See, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm very interested to see where this goes because I. We haven't seen one of them in a long time. We saw them both the last show. Which is the second meeting between the two. I don't recall. It's not understandable. I, um, I almost he, died in between last show. He, so. Peter Bashan was yelling at you the entire time, so. Was it? He was yelling at all of us. I was looking at the wrong match. Pay no mind to me, I know it's it. Speaking of someone who's paid their dues here in TIW. So, in that instance, would you call this a grudge match from uh, last year? I would definitely call this a grudge match. It was down to the two of them, wasn't it? It was. Their first meeting, Black Rose, defeated Adam Roxas in New York Championship Wrestling. Their second meeting here, Eric Roxas got the pitfall in Black Rose in that eight-man elimination match. From Albany, New York, weighing in at 215 pounds, the 10 boy, Rose! So this grudge match is why I'm going to come to a head here in the rubber match. Black Rose, it's here we go, the most original, formerly known as Angel Cross. He's a whole different man. He is a whole different man. He has a different focus. He has a different mindset. And this crowd loves him. Like, I have never seen him. This is what the crowd goes for. Pound for pound. I feel he is one of the best in the New England area. 
sometimes it's just a lack of focus. All of his athletic skills and abilities come down to if he can stay focused in this match. And he's dealing with a very dangerous, very focused opponent in Aaron Rodgers. So as it's a rubber match, it is my understanding they each have a victory to the themselves? Yes, bro. Okay. Just making it. Red PJ just trying to make sure that uh, he can check out uh, Black Rose real quick. Black Rose making sure his boots are properly laced. Happy to see he has it. No strangers to each other? They're getting real up close and personal. They're, they're, they're going to make no qualms here. Started off hot. Look at it go! Right. Black Rose throwing all of the lefts and rights. And everything in between. Rose is coming in. Black Rose won the first map between the two, and he left. There it walks a split. Aaron Rock to send you up with eight stitches above his eye that night. I gotta assume that's like a fear factor that's gonna be sitting in. Or motivation to motivation. To, to return the favor. It's absolutely true. Beautiful drop there. There's that athleticism that's going on right here. Black Rose taking his time. Patience is a virtue, and apparently. Rose has it. Well, it looks like it's running pretty short. Well, yeah, you're right. Hey, pay attention to him. What are you doing? Don't. Fox is shoving the camera out. Ref probably doesn't. Well, Ref understands that. I was going to say, I don't know if they recognize that. DDT, can you come in? One, two. What an unpleasant landing for Black Rose. That looks so painful. Right on the top of that. But like I said before, Crossfire is absolutely deadly in that ring. If, if you've, uh, you've never experienced that, oh God, but when you're neck on audience like that, there's so much more than physical pain that comes to that. You could be jostled and you might not even know where you are. Like, because the, there's all it tenses up your muscles, you can't move. There's oh, it's so bad. Big suit, by the way, Aaron Rosses. Aaron Rox is getting real close. Now he decided that patience is his virtue, and he's going to take his time with Black Rose. Very methodical. Right on the solo flexes, that stop looks rough. Knocking the wind out of Black Rose and making sure that he can't catch his breath after that. That's a smart strategy. Once again, Ref OJ being awfully lenient about those closed fists. What if thought somebody would have talked to her earlier? Oh, apparently not. You really have to feel that those close fish are just a, uh, an antiquated part of professional wrestling. Everyone throws now and now. You know, just, just let it go. You gotta get some leniency, you gotta let these guys just it out. If that was the rules, I'd agree with you. But last I checked at the, the last uh, truly independent wrestling committee, it was combat. Codex is what uh, we're going to refer to. Um, I like that. Fists are good, illegal. You're not allowed to throw close fists. Stay down! Man, there's a close fist to the dome. Black Rose throwing from the bottom, showing no respect. Get put down immediately. These are all your fans, huh? Well, no, that's a camera. Slidewinder suplex. What a show of strength. Looks like I have Nelson. Three, one, two. Black goes out of 
It's just the frustration in his face right now. He just wants to be over the top with. I think that's what he's geared towards right now. He's taking a look. Fire in the back. There's another one of those close fists. So, like, at this point, yeah. I mean, if we're both throwing him, I guess that's fair game. Cross shot to the throat. South Black Rose. Right. Black Rose with Eaton. The turn. This is his chance. He created the distance. He comes in with that vicious shoulder tap. He's almost going to force him out of the ring in between those two ropes. He's limping. He's feeling the effects of those shots from before. Just like a dot. It's not even a spear. He hits so fast, so quick, and so precise. His accuracy used to be not so great, but he has definitely over the years improved on that, which is very good. Oh, look at me! Stop it, Ray, his tracks. Any momentum he was building is gone. He is, he is effectively dead in the water at this point, and this is all Aaron Roxas' game. He's, he's just jaw jacking with him, though, like this is not great. Is this something Aaron Roxas does often to go up? Not that I've seen before. And he just paid for it. Two, three, oh! the power bomb out of the corner. Scott's got him. That could be it. One, two. Oh! Out of two. So close. Base lock. And in for the arm bar. Looks like he's going for a suplex. Oh, he's going to be blown. Wow. That was nice. That knockout elbow. Through that end. Yeah. Put him right into a position and just like beat him right out with that elbow. That was nice. I thought he was out cold, but what resilience. My black row is kicking out at the last second. Eric Marks just can't believe it. He's going to be looking for that knee. And he's calling a shot now. This, this very well could be it. If he's just going to put him in position, he can lay him right out. This is how he went. Oh. Firing away. Oh. Right over that eye that he spit over last time. Super kick. That could be it. He could just roll over and make the cover. That PJ, I don't give it a second to breathe. We're just getting right to the counts. Fantastic job fishing by PJ tonight. Hey, if we're out by 9 o'clock, I'm fine with that. Both got her off. Black Rose are both off. They're going to climb. Very shortly, I hope. Big hit Sick punch. Firing back. They are both Oh my god. The exhaustion showing as it is officially set in here. Both of these guys are tired. Oh, first. First of energy. He's got the second win. Michael's got boxes on the ropes. Shane Love is going high and low. The first one. And that's what split Aaron Lux is over last time. Black and Rose remembers that. Big headbutt. The foot of the fire in this very position here where he does it. Oh, Aaron Rocks just rakes his eyes. Cobra Clutch. Looks like he's gonna try and put him to sleep. This very well could be it. If he just leans back and just lashes his legs around, it could, it could be bedtime for Black Rose. 
He's got the pressure on the crowd and either he's, he's yeah. fading away. Got locked in tight. This could be it. Oh, what? This is still there. Fight back. He's asking for the crowd's help, but they are happy to unlock. Oh, big jawbreaker. Double leg takedown. Looks like he's going to work that corner in about a nowhere. Rush is fighting it. Oh, it's, it's locked in. This, is, this has to be over. He's close to the ropes, though. Full belief is my go to submission, and most of the time, he will never get out. He grabbed the the ropes though. Hey, look at that exhaustion. Awesome. What a phenomenal show stealing match tonight. Yeah. That's the big candidate so far for sure. These two men are showing the main action. Angel looking for the drive by. Oh, well scouted. He's got him up again. He's got that torture in. That could get one, two. Wow. I did not think. He barely got up. I did not think Black Rose was going to pick out of that. The Watchers can't believe it. He's looking to end tonight like he ended the last time they were in the ring together. Throwing that blue on me. Black Rose doesn't know where he is at this point. He is on spaghetti legs, as you may say. Now he's on his leg. Now he's on his leg. There's a boy. Drive by the That's it. Headshot. One, two, three. Impressive showing by Aaron Rupsis as well. What a phenomenal match. Two very, very evenly so matched competitors. Check that man's teeth. Uh, or at least the, the yard for them, right? That's not my concern at this point. Fair enough. So I'm okay with whatever happens here. Probably checked out his throat. Probably got kicked. Look, look at him. Look at his face. He's checking. He, and that is rough. I'll show respect for both men. Both men leaving everything in that ring. Both men standing up now. What's going to happen here? So if you wondered if Fox and Kyle Brad had title implications, this yeah, is well. 100% for sure. These, these two warriors just duped it out. Black Rose asking for a handshake. Let's see if this one ends the same exact way. With what these two have been through in three matches together, definitely a show of respect. Although I wouldn't suggest turning your back on him. Fell for it once, wasn't gonna fall for it again. Well, it sort of ended the same way. Only I guess that means Black Rose is smarter than Fox Vineyard, which I wholeheartedly agree with. Aaron Rush has made a the match, but he still wanted to leave a statement. We talked about killer instinct, that man definitely has it. Yeah, for sure. That, that was an amazing matchup between two fantastic competitors. Honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing it a fourth time, and a fifth, and a sixth. That's a lot of times. But I've yet to be disappointed. I'm always disappointed.
Speaking of disappointments. Sean Jacobs? No. Ty is far from a disappointment. Given his shoes aren't as nice as uh, that other guy that we had. That other guy. That other guy we had. Oh, okay. I, I didn't ask what his name was. Zayden Quinn! There's a face we have not seen. There's a mask we have not seen in a very long time. The return of the Nightmare Man. I might just go by just one. But I, I, I prefer the moniker of the Nightmare King itself. Uh, tomato, potato. Eat. I'll bring it to that. DSB. Yeah. But we don't get that here though. Thank God. I mean, like I said, they're probably already custom sand or significant others. But not that there's anything wrong with some of that. Uh, no, no, not at all. I want the game of thrones. I have to finish Game of Thrones myself, but I will at some point. Take you some House of Dragon? Uh no. Oh. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish Game of Thrones first. Oh. You don't need to. But I'm going to. Demon Targaryen. Now this match, I don't know if this has ever happened before, but I'm very excited to see how it goes. It's a, a very unique matchup. Two yeah. very, very different styles. Two very different personalities. That's exactly what I was going to say. Good call. Well scouted. Like the only thing... Oh no. Wait a minute. Looks like he's in a miserable mood. He sure does. Too close to the song. Here the shots chose violence. That's what's happening here. Like that. There's really. Is, is there ever a day that he doesn't choose violence? I mean, there was a time, but right now he's. Samuel Bolt, a former uh, collaborator of Zayden Lynn, actually. That's also kind of interesting. A uh, former Berkshire champion who. Uh, if, uh, if and here he is! He's yeah. no stranger to Randy Walker. He's coming in hot! Oh, and he's calling him in! Oh, this could be real interesting. Here's my question. Do you accept that you need to destroy TIW together? Or are you and I 
But the former Assembly of Sin member seems that the Assembly of Sin had joined Pierre Bashan. Guess what? Guess what? I didn't say two. I said you. So you got a choice to make right now. You either take this hand and get rid of that, or you go with him and see what happens. That choice is yours and make it now. It looks like Samuel Bolt made his choice. And, and that's officially the end of the Assembly of Sin here in TIW. And that's the end of Randy, Randy Walker. Repeating, I, I mean, it's, it was not me. I don't know why Lucy Bolt's attack to take this. Get in there. Get up here. You. This is a message to everyone in the back. You just witnessed the two craziest, most insane monsters in TIW are coming for anyone in the back. Once I get this freak of nature on board, no one is safe. And that is a final notice. Betrayed by his close friend from the Assembly of Sin. I, this, I, I doubt this is the last we've seen of this. I, I guess he gets his hand raised because he didn't die, and that's a moral victory? I mean, he took the majority of the beating. All, all Zayden Lynn took was a, a, a rather rough clothesline, and then he was tossed out of the ring like a piece of garbage.
was pretty glorious. Well, physically, he's slimmed down. He, he doesn't have that extra weight. He's he's stronger. His, his ring work has been second to none. And now he's a former two-time TIW heavyweight champion. So he has the experience. He lost the belt to his opponent. And the person he lost the belt to is also his opponent. It's true. Yeah. This is really a good smoothie of true independent wrestling. That's me. And the same thing about that. Yes. Just in case, all of these bad favorite, except for like two or three months here. for a few years, but the number of matches under his belt. Not as many as you would expect for what he's able to do. Uh, as far as I can tell, he took an extended vacation. He did take an extended vacation. For a little while. Um, he, need, he needed the experience of the world. A man who needs no introduction. A man who is Probably not He's happy to be here. that his ego will let him walk away. I mean, clearly, that's, that's really what he is. is it's his just deep. But then he has ego. That's what he's in. It's sickening to see how different he was. I knew it. Just in case he had to make this intriguing. So he put his title shot on the line. Yeah. It does. What does Jimmy Limits get out of this though? Yeah. He's just having to help him. Because he's getting back in the main event. So even though this may not be the... Just in case that's the next title shot. That does definitely still keep him in the picture. That's a good point. Kicking it out. Uh, so, 
Summit show. Here, take this. I don't need it. And the match is underway. But actually, just in case, has so much watching towards Tyler Vincent. Oh no. He knows he can get Tom Vincent an inch. He's a three-time three -time champion for a reason. Snap around the corner. Jimmy goes to the ropes. Maybe hit the running. Euro himself. Perfect. One, two. Tom Vincent on the two. I was real close. Come on. Come on. He really should. Yeah, I was going to say, he needs to pick it up. Oh, no. He's still on count just in case. Big Samoa for the top. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Look, look at Tyler Vince just manhandling the front of the champion like he's essentially nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calling for the take, calling in just in case. Save some for, for sweet money. Tell him that you want to do all the work. Call her over. Try to rip his shoulder out of the socket. Big elbows. Two 
many times. It's out of the way. That's the line. Big, big drop kick. That's Just it's out of two. Wrenching in that rear chin lock. are his people, literally, yeah. hometown boy from North Adams. Sweet money out at two. Sweet money on the floor. He wanted to get Jimmy involved, and he's regretting it. Justin turned around at the right time. He, didn't, he had no idea what was coming for him, too. I don't know if you noticed that. You know, I'm about the other side. Long shot, sweet money, in, and his own partner, Jimmy Limits. But hey, that's a two for one the wrong way. That's a two for. Drive 
drop kick to Kid. Jimmy's, yeah, yes. Jimmy Lemons. Tyler Vincent taking the tag, getting back into the match. See, he's just taking out the dirty pieces. And that's why he's the champion. That's why he's the three-time champion. Son. I am calling the match like it did. down the middle as best I can. I'm only stating the facts. He's already tacked back out. How do you feel? He, if just in case Jimmy Lemons win, he has to defend the title on the next show. Why risk injuring yourself? For some reason, it may just be inevitable. He's going to need to defend the title against somebody. Big explosion! Grant Jimmy back into the corner before taking out the exploder. Sweet Marsh Williams is making great work for Jimmy Lemons now. He's at full control. Justin arrived at the crowd behind Jimmy. Still fighting well, for, his for his very life while Tyler Vincent sits at the entrance and watches. He's disgusting. <laughs> crowd, I feel, is effectively behind Sweet Money Montgomery at this point since it's a two on one situation. Voices him up. Lays out sweet money. Continues to make the tag. It's a the case continues. Here comes Jimmy Lemons. He's going to hit the kick. It's going to be over.
Jimmy Lucas and Justin Bates. Are we going to hear any wise words from the champion? See you on October 29th. Truly Independent Wrestling presents Fall Frenzy. I think that's it. Sure. Yeah, Fall Frenzy. If it's not, you know, I don't know. Sue me. And uh, October 7th, Bout for Glory. Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go eat pizza. <laughs> 